Hello, hello, beloveds, and happy, happy, super, super full moon in Virgo. It is definitely an intense day. I am so excited and grateful, grateful, grateful to be here. Actually, our Wi-Fi is out right now, so I don't know if it's Mercury going direct or if it's all the women who are not at work today here in Mexico. And so I wanted to just pop on and share some insight and inspiration as well as let you know what's going on. So first of all, wanted to share with you my new little altar space here in my home. And I'll be doing a lot more videos from this space. Hello, beloved. I see you, 777. And so I just wanted to tune in and share with you, how are you feeling? How, what inspirations, what um, experiences are you shedding? Which ones are you embracing? This super full moon in Virgo is all about balance. Hey, balanced, I see you. And guess what? It's mostly also about our sense of ourselves, but in a much deeper way for several reasons. First off, because Mercury has just gone direct, which could also be the reason, hey, j Dog. Um, one of the reasons that our Wi-Fi went out. But you know what? I really do believe it's because the women aren't at work today. I do believe because the women aren't at work today, there's been some kind of tech glitch. And of course, it does coincide with not only a full moon, but also with this Mercury retrograde. So hi, Quartzite. I'm glad to see you're new here. Welcome to the community. And, and here we speak spirituality, we speak sisterhood, we speak truth, we speak love. And so welcome, welcome, welcome. So I just wanted to share with you how intense this energy has felt for me. And, and I know that it's out there and, and out for all of us. And so there's really what the Virgo energy is all about that virgin, that new beginning. And so if you're feeling like something is leaving, something is coming in, good for you. I definitely, 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 this morning I woke up and did some really deep journaling. And so I want to share with you one of the things that I wrote that you can take with you as a spiritual practice this evening. So one of the first things um, was I am letting go of guilt around fill in the blank. And then that led into... Um, now I don't remember, I had a, a mind freeze there. Um, that led into the um, experience, what I wrote down was I am, oh gosh, I, I, I'm having a brain freeze, so let me keep talking. That led me to really start examining what my thoughts were around guilt and how I was holding on to so much unconscious guilt. Many of us don't realize how unconscious most of our acts and most of our behaviors and our, our, our thought processes are so unconscious. And most of it is also very conditioned. We don't realize how conditioned our thinking is. And that's why when we come up against a challenge or a change, it feels so difficult because we are conditioned in our thinking, especially those unconscious thoughts. And so the other thing that I wrote, and I'll have to share it with you in another video, was, you know, no more, no more. What am I saying? There is no more of. And so it's really important that we allow ourselves to really tune in. And so we've got today and tomorrow. So I have to pop on and share with you on a deeper level what it was because all of a sudden I cannot think. And I think it's because, like I said, this Mercury retrograde energy. So our Wi-Fi is down in our home. So of course, you know how that is. That just disrupts a lot of different things. But more so, I really wanted to talk about this energy of you know, the solidarity in our sisterhood. In Chile, they said there was over a million women marching together. And all over Mexico, there's been so many different sisterhood marches and, and really coming together against the violence and the femicide here in Latin America. And so many of us, you know, just kind of unconsciously forget it because we're so used to all of this violence. We need to get uncomfortable with this. We we cannot be compliant anymore against the, the violence against women around the world, period. And so it's important that we do add some time tonight and pray for each other and pray for our sisterhood because our sisterhood 
we're, you know, we're the bearers of the fruit. We're the bearers of what's to come. We're the ones who teach the men. And, you know, we are truly life, you know, Mother Earth. You know what I'm saying? And so it's important that we start to really look at ourselves as the women that we are and as the healers that we are, as the nurturers that we are, instead of just these robots. And this is what some of this unconscious thinking has really created for us, all these habitual thoughts and patterns. Just like I feel disrupted now, not having the Wi-Fi. Spirit is disrupting me for a reason, you know, and I have to just accept it because there's nothing I can do. And so I have to accept it and just truly surrender into it. And I just made a post about how we worship our, do we worship our dreams or do we worship our fears? Many of us don't realize how much we worship our fears. And this is so crucial again in the womanhood, because if we are so fearful of every single thing and every single one and every single change, how can we be effective? And this is one of the reasons that I've been doing the 21 day challenge, the 21 days of abundance so if you haven't popped on over there on brown girls who bruja on facebook you've still got this week where we're wrapping things up and i want to do a special shout out to my sister jenna black if you guys don't follow jenna black i'm going to tag her in this because a lot of she does a lot of money mindset and so i've used a lot of her amazing quotes and so i'm definitely going to be um, tagging her because her money quotes have been really um, really influential in teaching and sharing the 21 days of abundance. But one of the things that I did come on to share with you is something that I've been holding on to and some very exciting announcements. So I'll be rolling out new things all week. And now, of course, with no Wi-Fi, it might be a little delayed, but I wanted to give you a heads up. So first off, I want to let you know something that I've been really excited about is be your own bruja. Many, many women come to me and men come to me asking me, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you do this? And what do you do with the candles? And what do you do with, with, with this? And so Be Your Own Bruja is a membership program. And, and it's not a program. It really is you getting to work with me in ways that I've never worked before. And it's on Patreon. You could tap the bio. It's in there now. And there's five different levels to accommodate everybody's everybody's budget because here at Brown Girls Who Bruja we want to be accessible, affordable and aligned. And so every week you'll get a new post and depending on the tier that you go in, you'll get live streams with me, you'll get an opportunity to see some of the behind the scenes things, you'll also get opportunities to learn from me. How what do you do with your candles once they're done? How do you bless your home? How do you bless others? How do you create abundance? So there's five different levels. So let me share. The first level is the Bruja Babe. And so this is the basic. Then there's Bruja Beauty. And this is about really developing and coming into that self-love. Not just the inner outer beauty, but inner beauty. But I will be sharing a lot of my beauty trips, tips and t um, tricks. And then there is the Bruja Boss and Bruja, I'm sorry, Bruja Boo. Bruja Bru Boo is really all about that love. I'm sorry, Bruja Beauty is about that inner and outer love and that experience and really about enhancing and attracting. And then Bruja Boo is really about that love. So there's where I'll share some love magic, love rituals, and there'll be rituals, there'll be meditations, there'll be prayers, there'll be all kinds of things in each tier. And then there's Bruja Boss. And this is really, if you want to bring in that money magic, this is a membership, so it's rolling. So every week will be something new. And then there's the Bruja Beloved, if you want everything. And so this is based on a monthly. So again, it starts at seven and goes up to 44. And the reason I'm doing this is because you know the level at, that you're at. If you want to just, if you're just beginning, there's something for you. If you're more advanced and, and you know have the income and you want to spend and spread, you know, share a little bit more love for yourself and learn more Bruja things, that's why I made it. I was very conscious about creating something that allowed every single woman to be able to get what she needs. Or man, again, Bruja is not um, female exclusive. And the reason that I'm sharing this is because so many of us have been so disconnected from our natural spiritual magic. 
women have a natural gift for brujeria and and it's not just about you're a witch or you're this or that this is you know food choices this is emotional mental spiritual our natural magic this is why so many of us are connected to the moon because we have a moon within us we have the moon cycle within us and so more and more women are connecting and craving this women's spirituality because that's what brujaria is to me it is women's spirituality and so soon as i can i'll be updating some more info on there again my wi-fi is down so i've got a limited access to all the good things but Stay tuned, beloveds. I will be adding more. I'll be sharing more. And I can't wait really to, to serve. I really am looking forward to serving you because so many people ask me questions. How did you get started? What is a bruja? Why do you do this? Did you know there's 50 different words for bruja? Because bruja is just the Spanish word for witch. The reason that I don't call myself a witch is because witch comes from the word wicca. And wicca is a... Um, it's a European word. And so I have Spanish heritage. And so I connect with the word bruja, but there's 50 different words and we'll be discussing that. There's some from Africa and Ireland and all over the world, Chinese and, and Lithuania and Ukraine and all the different places around the world have different words. And so we'll be diving into all of that and really, really, really getting into that women's spirituality, that natural magic that each of us have. Because how many of us had a grandmother who knew how to put something in your ear to make your ear ache or take this for your, you know, for your stomach ache or how to make your, your um, you know, healing your stomach? That was brujeria. The thing is, we didn't have a word for it. We just said, oh, grandma's tonics or whatever. And so that's what this is. And so many of us are creating our own magic. That's why it's called be your own bruja because you're gonna draw resources. You're gonna use what you have. I'm gonna use what I have, but I want you to be your own bruja because there is no one bruja. We are all brujas. And so join me in bringing that energy alive our sisters need us we need us and so i am just sending so much love and light and peace and joy and happiness to every single woman out there in the world i'm just lifting and and, and shifting our minds our bodies our spirits and as i pray for each of us i pray for every man woman and child every tree and every sea every animal and every insect and guess what i'll also be doing a new meditation, prayer, spiritual gathering. I've been doing some Course in Miracles teachings, and now I'm going to bring that in and make that with meditation as well as prayer. So if you've been looking for a spiritual community where to learn more about A Course in Miracles, how to pray, a meditation circle, I got you. So again, as soon as my Wi-Fi is back up, I've got so much good stuff to share with you. And so I'm just going to just go into a reading space because the Wi-Fi is out. So I know Spirit is saying for me to tune in and turn on. And that's what I'm going to do and spend some quality time with my husband. And of course, then guess what? Once the Wi-Fi comes back on, I'll be busy, busy. And so I'm just sending you all so much love and light. Use this moon. I will be sharing with you so much this week, soon as I can. And, and just, again, pray for your sisters, pray for each other, and pray for yourself. That's what this Virgo virgin full moon is all about. It is the perfect time for sisterhood. And so we are all sisters. And so just remember that. Take that to heart. Time, peace, and blessings, sisters.